Hello, people on the internet. Uh, today's video is called Gold Bloom Stencil. <laughs> uh, all it is is me uh, testing out my first homemade uh, stencil of Jeff Goldblum in my dry media sketchbook that is being prepped with homemade black gesso um and all i did was make um, or mix uh cornstarch regular glue and some black um acrylic paint and uh put on a nice i'd say thick coat as much as it would take uh layer on my sketchbook and i uh, wanted to make sure i got it fairly evenly uh it was hard as you can probably guess uh, the paper didn't like it <laughs> um, but now that it's all dry it dried more gray than it did black um but i would put that to the black paint mixing with the white pigment in of course the white elmer's glue and also probably the white of the cornstarch i'm not sure if um that would have an effect but uh, maybe um, but how I made the um, stencil is out of plain printer paper <laughs> and also I glued the printout on to a uh, vanilla folder and just cut it out painstakingly um, after that and uh, I can tell you right now the stencil did not survive, <laughs> which isn't surprising. I mean, uh, nor did it, I mean, it worked, uh, as you'll see, but it wasn't up to par like I thought it would be. Uh, but it's my first one, you know, first made stencil, especially of a person with hair, you know, and fingers and. But it was a good first attempt. I was proud of it. Um, I think online I give it a C ranking. <laughs> uh, which is passing. You know, it's fine. Um, but uh, what I did was I was just mixing... Uh, it was just plain white uh, acrylic paint. Cheaply bought at Walmart. Because... No, oh, that's not even cheap. <laughs> I was thinking it was like 10 bucks. Um, so that was a lot for someone who has none. <laughs> um, but this was my first time really trying to do stencils. And I didn't know there are special brushes for stencils. Uh, and they're like these little round brushes. And uh, you're not supposed to actually like brush the stencil you just pound on it really lightly but ferociously <laughs> so that's why i'm using a regular paintbrush um and uh just painting it on there and the paper was as you can see it was bendy it was kind of fold out word of itself so that was a little bit of a challenge trying to figure out how to hold things down um i'm using a broken bit of a old paintbrush so <laughs> that helped uh, especially i wasn't worried about it getting paint all over it which you know it's cheap stuff it comes right off uh, so that was okay uh, but i wanted to make sure that I didn't have to do a lot of layers. Now, I know, uh, even before I did this, because um, I did my research, uh, I just have no budget and no patience. Uh, but uh, I do know that a lot of people who do the stencils, uh, even when they do spray paint, they do layers. Uh, not a lot, and it also depends on the stencil and the paint and everything like that. But um, most people... I found say to do layers um, but that's for people who have access to a lot of paint <laughs> and as you can probably guess my little 
paint capsules, whatever they're called. There's not a lot in there. No, there's not a lot. So I needed to make sure I could use what I had. So I did mix a little, little bit of water to try and make it last. But um, it was only like a couple of drops, so not a lot. Um, which is okay. It came out okay. Um, and I kind of... Uh, I don't know. It, it was okay. It was the first attempt. <laughs> But um, I couldn't figure out how to keep the smaller little hairs and wrinkles and little pieces down while I painted. So the final effect has a lot of splotches. But it also kind of gives a different feel to it because unfortunately the gesso was too thick. Um, and it cracked. It started to crack in bits. But I liked how it was cracking or is cracking. Um, it's still doing it for some reason. Uh, even after days, weeks of doing this. Um, but the cracking uh, and how the paint dried overall, it gave it this kind of, I want to say gothic type of feel. I don't know. Um, that's okay. Oh, I dropped my paintbrush yeah, don't drop it um but uh this was the first test because i had another project that i wanted to do um and i did do it if you want to see that i will uh link the picture because the video is not up yet but the video will be up soon um and i'll come back and link it in the description so if you've have just came to see this video and it's been years. <laughs> the new video is up. You can go watch it, please. Um, but this stencil was a first attempt um, at doing another stencil, same image, but um, uh, the next stencil was three layers instead of just this one. Um, and by that, I mean, I had a black layer, a gray layer, and a white layer for highlights, midtones, base color. Um, but uh, I wanted to see how the stencil would work just being printed out on regular paper and being cut out on the folder. Because if that worked out, cool. Because I've got loads of printer paper and a couple of pen or er, folders, <laughs> words. And a couple of folders available. So uh, I was going to use them to make the final stencil. Um, but I didn't do that. Because like I said, this did not survive too well. Um, and that's probably because, you know, it's printer paper. It's not, you know, meant for paint or water or anything like that. It's barely made for ink when you think about it. <laughs> you put too much ink on there and it'll just rip. Which is what you got to do, I guess. Uh, but the final stencil I made on cardstock. And uh, that was a little tricky to cut also. Um, but it was a lot better um, than the paper. So that worked out, I guess. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was really just kind of a trial and error thing. Uh, for the stencils, you hush. I thought I had that on silent. Uh, I'll probably add music for this. This is 14 minutes long. I have nothing to talk about. <laughs> uh, come on. Come on. Okay, yay. Here's the reveal. Yay. Oh my god, this is... Doing it is just, if not more stressful than watching it. Ah. Especially when I watch other people reveal their paintings when they use stencils. I'm like, oh my god, it's going to rip. Ah. And, uh... Oh, see, it didn't survive. I'm sorry, Jeff, I killed you. No. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah. Jeff, you just fought me on this one. Now look, I've got to do surgery on your face. I've got to pick things out of your eyes. Look at this. i got to dig into your eyeballs. Look at that. Ah! Oh, yay. There's your eye. i got to pick your hair out of your head. Ah. Yep. C level. I mean, for a test, at least it kind of worked. <laughs> at least I learned that paper is not a good stencil maker. Yeah, I know it's a thumbs down. And, uh, yeah, here's the zoom. Oh, it's horrible. Don't look. Avert your eyes, children. I'm sorry, Jeff Goldblum, if you see this. You are much more attractive in person. <laughs> and the other stencil came out very nice. I mean, it really did. So, it really was mostly the paper and partially me. <laughs> Only partially. And then more reveal. Oh, don't rip. And as you can see the uh, on the top of the page, the wrinkles, that is from the gesso drying. And you can even see around uh, the darker edges. Oh, look, see, paint got underneath that tape. Ah, so many things went wrong. But so many things just went wrong. There was no right. <laughs> the fact that I did it, that's the only right. That's the right. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the wrinkles were caused from the gesso, and you can kind of see in the darker parts of the page uh, where it's dried warped, and um, it's actually cracking even there, but you can't really see the cracks just yet. Um, and I ripped part of the paper. Get that. Thank you. Um, but it came out okay. Like I said, C level and the paint actually dried uh pretty quick uh, acrylic does dry pretty quick um which is good but bad and um yes i realized that my pretty pink purple paintbrush is purple ah jeff what are you doing trying to knock over stuff don't do that to me um this is where i was like oh i'm just gonna try and uh makes up like maybe some splotches or some drips because you know jeff goldblum has played in a lot of uh not really gory movies um psychological movies i guess i'm not really sure the what you would classify them as but he's played in a lot of movies that have a lot of death or a lot of violence but not really violence like deep meaning type things um, I don't, th I wonder what he would have done in Jacob's Ladder. If you haven't seen that movie, it's a trip. Um, he wasn't in it. Baby Macaulay Culkin was. He was tiny and he was cute. Uh, but anyway, uh, the uh, I mixed the white paint uh, with some water. A little too much water, I think, because uh, it was not liking it. As you can see, it was too clear. It wasn't really sticking so i had to do the drips a lot and um, it wasn't really agreeing with the paper it was actually kind of making it warp even more um so i decided to uh clean that out dump it out and uh wanted a little bit of splash of color in there and what better color than red right <laughs> That's not gory at all. <laughs> um, but yeah, added a little bit of water in there, as you can see. And uh, just trying some things out, because it was already pretty much a uh, bad painting. <laughs> uh, so I wanted to make it worse. Why not, right? Why not make it worse? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's what I did. Uh, and here's a uh, image of the finished piece. Um, so you didn't have to watch me add more drips that were just as bad as the white drips. <laughs> um, but that was uh, Goldblum stencil. 
and uh, hope you enjoyed it. Toodles. Mm-hmm. <laughs>